Good morning, everyone. Hello, it's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. How are you doing today? That good? Well, I'm really happy to hear that. We have some really exciting news for you. So, we've been going through our summer program, right? Yeah, and on Monday, this coming Monday, August 17th, we are starting our new school year. New school year, we're gonna have our first day of school next Monday. So we're really excited to be covering a full curriculum all year long. We're gonna cover everything that we would in our classrooms face to face. So we're gonna be covering math, language, culture, science, and so many more things in a slightly different format than we would in person. Now, we understand a lot of our friends on parents are considering options, when to go back to school, when to start, and we actually offer in-person classes here at Learn and Play Montessori School, and we also offer our full remote learning program. That's gonna cover all the same curriculum that we would in person, in classroom. So, if you're enjoying this program, it would be really awesome for you to share with your friends and families because we want to have more friends. The more friends, the better. And in addition to our Facebook Lives, our daily lives and worksheets, we also have a Zoom classes where teachers and children get to learn together, do experiments, and socialize with each other every day. That's also Monday through Friday. And I wanna be sure to mention that Monday, it's like the first day of school. So the worksheets and the work that we're covering is not gonna be the same as we did this week. We're starting back at the first day. So it may not feel quite as challenging as it does this week, but we are gonna make our way through the whole year. Alrighty? And I, we cannot forget, tomorrow, Friday, the 14th of August, Miss Kelly is leading a yoga class on Zoom for free from 4.30 to 5. All right? I know, I'm excited too. So we know yesterday was Wednesday, right? Right. And today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday and on Friday, is there a, a yoga class at 4.30 with Miss Kelly? Yes, yes. We can bring our parents, our friends, our little brothers, our big sisters, everyone, okay? So let's do that, enjoy our Friday. It is the 13th, what month are we in? Still in August. We are still in August. It is Thursday, August 13th, 2020. Super. Let's take a look at our worksheets. Our first worksheet is about a vowel. Let's look here. Do you have a pencil with you? Me too. We're good to go. Let's write our name up top, because that's what we always do first. And let's read these directions. Say the name of each picture. Write the missing vowel. It looks like we're going to do some tracing as well. So, let's look at the first picture here. What do we see? Is that a dog? No, what is that? 
A can. That is a can, yeah. So we're missing a vowel in the word can over here. When we say can, what are the sounds that we hear? What are the letter sounds? K, a, n. We're missing a, we're missing an a sound. What letter goes here? Can, k, a, n. A, n. What vowel are we looking at here? A. Thank you. Let's write an A here. A. Let's trace our C, A, N. Can. Great job. Should we color this can? It's looking like just just an ordinary can. And now it has a red label. Okay, how about this? What is this picture? Yeah, that is a bag. Thank you very much. And so what is the beginning sound of bag? B, B. Let's trace our B. From the top to the bottom, back up halfway around. And what is the ending sound of bag? It's at the end. Bag. -g. Yeah, we see that G. That's our ending sound. Now, what is the middle missing vowel? Bag. Ah, ah. Yeah, and we're going to write an A there for bag. B-A-G, bag. Ah. Super. I'm feeling like this is a brown bag. What color are you going to make your bag? Good idea. Let's look at the next picture. This is a... A cat. Thank you. A cat. What is the beginning sound of cat? K -k. Yeah, let's trace that. And what is the ending sound of cat? T -t cat. The T. Let's trace our letter T. And we're missing the vowel. Cat. Ah. Ah. Cat. What vowel are we missing in cat? A. You got it. Thank you. It's going to be a white cat, you think? Yeah, this cat's a white cat. And here, what is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a bat. What is the beginning sound of bat? B, bat. B, that's right. We're gonna let's trace our letter B. And the ending sound of bat? T, 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 excellent. Okay, now we're looking for a. What letter are we missing? You got it, letter A. Letter A. So these are A's. These are short A's. K an, bag, cat, bat. Short A sound. Good job, everyone. Can you try a few more with me here? Let's try this one. Now, what do we see here? We have these vowels. A, can you say these with me? A, E, I, O, and U. Those are our options for making these words. What do you see in this picture? 
A cat. That's right. K a t. What vowel are we missing here? Yeah, we just did that one. It's an A. Cat. K a t. Now let's look at another one. How about this? What is this a picture of? Yeah, that's like a, a water jug. That's a jug. So we see j, g. We need a jug. Uh, uh. What vowel makes that sound? Uh. It's a, e, i, a, a. Jug. J, a. Uh. The u. Jug. J, u, g. Jug. Excellent. Let's do a couple more. You guys are doing great. Here is a man. A man. M a m. What letter are we missing here? What vowel? M a n. Man. The a. That's right. M a n. Man. Super. Let's take a look at a couple more here. You remember this? Yeah, that's a spider web. A spider web. Thank you. We are missing the vowel sound. We have a w. We need e. B. What vowel makes an e sound? W. E. B. Can I put an I? What does that say? Wib. Wib. That's not what we're looking for. Wib. We're looking for web. Can it be a O? Wob. N E. Yes. Web. Web. Good job. Let's try one more and then we're going to look at some sequencing. What is this frog doing over here? Sitting? Hopping. The frog is hopping. Yeah. How do we spell hop? What vowel sound are we missing in hop over here? Mm-hmm. The O. You guys are fast. Hop. Up. Super job, everyone. Thanks for finding those vowel sounds with me. I have some really cool sequencing cards here I want us to take a look at. Now, I have six different pictures here. They are all different. And I'm trying to figure out which one goes first which one goes second, which one goes third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, the last one. Now, when we're doing things every day, there's an order. We can't just be a willy-nilly, right? Like here in these pictures, this boy is sleeping. And here he is getting on the bus. He is putting on his shoes. Now, tell me if this works. When you wake up in the morning, well, first you're sleeping, right? So you're sleeping. Then do you get on the bus right away? Or do you brush your teeth first? Do you eat your breakfast first? Yeah, we do some other things first. So let's look at these cards and think about what goes first. So he's getting ready for the morning. What do we do first when we're getting ready for the morning? We have to, well, we gotta be sleeping. First we're sleeping. Then what do we do next? 
What do you do next in the morning when you're sleeping? Wake up. I wake up. After I am sleeping, alarm goes off. I wake up. That's second. First, second. Next, what do you do in the morning after you wake up? After you stand up? Do you go to the bus? Or brush your teeth? Brush your teeth? Yeah. The dentist would be very happy. So first we're sleeping. Alarm goes off. Then we wake up. Get out of bed. Then next we brush our teeth. So we have to get ready for the morning now. After he brushes his teeth, should he wear his pajamas to school? No, it's probably not pajama day. So he's going to get dressed. After he brushes teeth, he will get dressed. He is putting his shoes on here. He's getting ready. That's going to go next. After he puts his shoes on, is he going to eat breakfast or get on the bus? What's going to go first or next? <laughs> he's going to eat breakfast. Yeah, he's going to eat breakfast. Then he's ready to go to school. So we know that we don't just wake up and go to school. We've got a lot of other things to do. We've got a lot of things to do, and we've got to do it in the correct order, or else it's not going to work. So let's look at our worksheet and think about what goes first and next and last. Do you have this worksheet with you? Okay, let's put our names up top. And the date. These directions say put these pictures in the right order by writing one, two, three, or four. So the cards we just looked at were of a boy getting ready to go to school. He woke up and got ready, ate breakfast, and went to school. This boy is going to sleep. So, what's going to happen first? Do you think he's going to be sleeping or feeling tired first? Yeah, you think he's going to be feeling tired first. Yeah, and here dad is reading a book. Here's brushing his teeth. Let's see, you think he's going to be tired first, though? Yeah, that's right. He's going to be tired first. Let's put a number one in this box. First, he feels tired. Next, what should he do? He's ready to go to bed. After you feel tired, we should read a book, be asleep, or brush teeth. After we're tired, what's next? Yeah, I agree. We should breath brush our teeth next. Let's write a two in that box. Two. First, get tired. Second, brush teeth. What's third? What's next? Is this boy going to be sleeping or listen to a book first? What's next? Yeah, he's going to listen to a book first, and then he will be sleeping. So we have a first, second, third. Let's put a three in this box. Three. Great job. Now, fourth, last, he will be 
Sleeping. Let's put a four in this box. First, second, third, fourth. Good job. Let's take a look at the next sequencing page. Hmm. Well, she looks like she's eating something delicious. Who likes pie? You like pie? Yeah, pretty good. So what's going to happen first when we eat pie? Are we going to... Can we eat the pie first and cook it later? Huh? No, we have to cook the pie. We have to bake the pie and then we can eat it. We can't eat it first. We have to bake it first. And before we bake it, we have to make it. Right, so if you want to eat apple pie, first thing we need to do is get apples. What are we going to do first here to eat the pie? Bake it, eat it, or find apples? First, we need some apples to make the pie. Let's put a number one on this line. What's going to happen next? Now we have apples. Are we going to eat apples or bake pie? Yeah, we need to bake the pie. Let's put two here. Going to bake it. Next, after it's baked, then we can eat it. Then we can eat it. Let's put a three on this line. First, second, third. We can't mix it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's leave the rest of this page for later. And take a look at our counting worksheet. Now, usually when we're counting, we go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, we're counting backwards. We're starting at a bigger number and we're getting smaller. I'm going to write my name up top. Do you have your name on the paper? Okay, let's get it on there, and let's read these directions. Color the oranges. Count backwards from 20. Trace and fill in the missing numbers. Use the numbers below for guidance. So, before we color in these oranges, let's fill in these numbers. So we're going backwards. What number are we starting at? 20. Yes, let's trace 20. 2, 0, 20. Okie dokes. Now, we're going to be looking for the numbers before, 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 because we're counting backwards. So what number is before 20? What's right before 20? 21 is after. What's before 20? 19. Let's write 19 in this orange. Now, what is before 19? What comes before 19? Our numbers are getting smaller. 18. Super. Let's see. What's, what's before 18? Well, and if we forget, we can always check, right? 20, what's before 20? 19, what's before 19? 18. So what is before 18? Thank you, 17. 
Let's write 17 in this orange. After we get our numbers in, then we'll color it orange. Great plan. Okie dokes. Let's see, what is before 17? 16, thank you for answering me. Let's do two more here. What's before 16? 15, thank you. Are we gonna trace 14? Yeah, we are. All the way down and four. Okay, so what color is an orange? What color are oranges? Orange, that's right. Later, after I finish putting all my numbers in here, I'm gonna color all these oranges. Orange, tasty orange. So I have a question for you guys. Do you remember what, who is the animal doctor? Who's the animal doctor? The veterinarian, yes, the veterinarian. Do you remember our veterinarian song? You do? Awesome, let's sing it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. I'm a vet, I'm a vet, I'm a veterinarian. I take care of the animals and I treat them one by one. I give shots, I set legs, and sometimes I operate. I take care of the animals because I think they are just great. Bring your dogs, bring your cats, bring your hamsters one by one. I take care of the animals. I'm a veterinarian. Awesome, thank you for singing with me. I appreciate that. We're gonna be talking about another community member. Today, we're talking about a bank teller. So, usually the banks are open and we can go in and see a bank teller. Let's look at our worksheet and see what are some of the things that they do. What does a banker do? Yeah, they deposit money. Yeah, that's right. They deal with a lot of money. Let's put our name up top and see what kind of things they need at their job. So, this sentence says, I am a bank teller. We can trace, I am a bank teller. But first, let's read these directions. Color the pictures that bank tellers use in their job. Trace the sentence below. So, Bank tellers have a really important job. Every day, mom and dad and all of our old friends, our big friends, go to a job. Why do we go to the job? So we can take care of our families, right? So we work hard at our job and we get paid money and we don't hold it in our pocket all day. We put our money in a bank often. So these banks will hold that money for us. It's pretty, pretty neat. And a bank teller, someone who works at the bank, needs to be really, really good with math. Bank teller is gonna do lots of adding, lots of subtracting. And so, they use some tools. What are some of these tools they, they use? Are you ready to do some coloring? Okay, that's great, because I'm ready to do some coloring too. What is this? 
Yeah, that's a check. Are bank tellers going to see checks every day? Yeah, they're going to help people cash checks and write checks. Let's color this check. And something else they're going to need. What about a what about a pen? You think they're going to need a pen to write a check? Yeah. Let's color the pen. Brown pen. How about money? Are they going to see a lot of money in their job? Yeah, they work at the bank. They hold a lot of money for a lot of people. And money is green often. We have paper, bills, and coins, right? How about a credit card? A credit card? Yeah, bank will see a lot of credit cards. Make smart credit card decisions, everybody. And a calculator. Now a banker, a bank teller is going to be doing a lot of math, a lot of adding, a lot of subtracting. So could they use a calculator? Yeah, that might be really useful. They're going to use a calculator also. Now are you friends ready to trace this sentence down below? I am a bank teller. Okay, let's do it. Let's do I am a M a bank teller. A B A N K and teller T E L L E R Great job you guys. Okay. Well, I'm really excited. You may have found a paper like this. This is a lava lamp experiment and we're going to do this in our Zoom class. So I hope you're really excited and you're welcome to do this alongside us at home, but be very careful. It can be a little bit messy. It's oil, water, and food coloring and Alka-Seltzer. So if we do this at home, make sure we put something down on the floor or counter so if a spill happens, it's no problem, okay? All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow.